It's working. He's totally falling in love with me. Dude, my colleague is trying to kill me, man. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of Girls Feed and today we're going to discuss how Bollywood has fleeced women across the country for example i have grown up watching kuch kuch hota hai wanting to fall in love with my best friend and uh, those are my relationship goals growing up shreemi what about you what were your relationship goals growing up so i was uh, ddlj was mm-hmm. the movie which i fell in love with shahrukh khan of course ddlj i mean most people like the first half because of the euro trip and everything but I actually like the second half where he <laughs> comes to convince the parents that she's you know i mean i'm worthy of her and because of that i was so notoriously choosy in what i'm doing that i think i gave up my youth in just like wanting to be with somebody who who put in that much effort and 28 years later nothing's happened so <laughs> nobody followed you to the pind nobody did that nobody is willing to come to bihar and fight with my amrish puri type father and be like nah kabutar khelao whatever <laughs> kabutar khelao <laughs> feeding a whole kabutar to someone yeah, yeah. so yeah ddlj did affect me but you see how problematic it all I was do. from do. the word go right yeah um, so th- this is another movie that came right jane to uh, janana mm. and that whole thing blew up and i was friends with somebody for like 15 years and then he was like uh, he asked me out i'm like dude what the f-? after that we we didn't speak to each other for 2 years <laughs> <laughs> no, and whenever the jane to song comes you're just like oh my god this is Gee. up until my uh, last year of college when i was a good 21 years old <laughs> i have still decided i am going to marry my best friends from school <laughs> friends is it all of them one of the few crushes <laughs> i had had and how is it going i am not with interested in any of them now that i'm a legitimate adult who has seen the outside world outside of the social pool that yeah. you grown up in cuz baki bahar ki duniya bhi hai aur ye mera love is friendship pyar dosti hai matlab maine kya khareed liya tha usko i fell in love with my best friend i realized after 7 years that this is a scam and so you were in love years. with him for 7 years Yeah because uh, guess what Bollywood also told me rejection is not okay if you are rejected you have to show it you have to write about it you have to put it in art bepana mohabbat ke afsane likhne is basically it's just really yeah there's some like spiritual uh, yeah, thing to okay you just didn't end up dating this girl I uh, was really messed up in my understanding of love uh, because of the love at first sight that concept oh, wow. which was just what and why was it a concept so prevalent in all of pop culture it's always just oh mile pyar hua aur tabah ho gaya types like it's just i slowly realized and i'm still like unlearning a lot of things i learned when i was growing up and watching samaria 17 times uh, what? <laughs> yeah what? i have done i had the hugest crush oh on ranbir kapoor oh and God. i bought the dvd and oh i watched it 17 times i, I was just like very obsessed with the idea of oh ye sufi pyar karne wala yeah. iski to duniya barbad ho jayegi agar usse ek ladki nahi mili and like just that is just such a messed up ae dil hai mushkil mein bhi wahi hua tha usko that's every ranbir yeah every ranbir character is just like main barbad ho jaunga so i just realized in conversation with another friend very recently that my role models from bollywood are the tina like characters who are the perfect versions and so i am trying to be that person in the relationship and i end up mothering all my boyfriends So this whole manic pixie dream girl trope I think it ruined my life. You go you are this whatever like you know girl with who is who, carefree yeah girl. carefree girl who doesn't care or who who has also some sort of mental health issue but is also very rosy about it you know don't doesn't go to therapy she doesn't need therapy whatever like Perfection. and then look at me she is the therapy i think that affects my relationships so much like you know there are certain things where i i tend to micromanage the partner's life 
and I know it's very problematic and I don't want to do it but that thing is so ingrained in me that you know you have to be like this to be desirable or to to have a perfect relationship yeah like the sacrificial uh, all sacrificing woman for love type of uh, trope i don't like it much uh, but i have started to observe it in my own behavior <laughs> recently so uh, but you are sacrificing matlab feeling that like मैं ना सब त्याग कर दू प्यार के लिए मेरी लाइफ तो है ही अच्छी लेकिन मैं क्या एक्स्ट्रा कर सकती हूँ hmm. प्यार के लिए एंड ऑल लाइक इवन इन कॉकटेल आई डोंट रिमेंबर हो कैरेक्टर डायना डायना कैरेक्टर मीरा शी इज द सब मिसिव एंड द शाई एंड ओ माई गॉड वॉट इज दिस वर्ल्ड and the big guys like come babe i'll give you a makeover like i hate make makeovers in any capacity because of that kind of reason yeah she literally oh, goes from salwar kameez to tight jeans and yeah, tops yeah and then she's happy and her her husband wants her back just because she changed into jeans like it's on a different level than the way they use the names like you know veronica, veronica and, and mira, mira. Yes. so yes. the religion the caste aspect of it is so important the always the bad and Loose, loose character characters, or either like it's just either someone who does not have a Brahmin surname, <laughs> or someone who is not a Hindu woman. Yeah. You know, they are loose and whatever. Drink and party. They are, party. They are usually party. Christian and from yeah, Goa yeah. and have loose morals. Not just character tropes, but like also looks wise. I feel people just tend to get stuck. And even in terms of roles, I feel like even our lead actresses or any actresses, they are not playing. characters outside these tropes so i went to study acting and after 2 years in my third year of acting i have still got these dreams because i'm watching uh, golio ki ras leela ram leela in um, singapore where it's released when i'm in college so i've watched it and i've come back very like mere ko bhi karna hai aisa kaam main bhi ranveer singh ke sath acting karungi i'm going to be deepika padukone and all and i went to speak to my program leader because we had these concerts and i told her oh this is what i want to do once i graduate she was like babe तू रोमांटिक लीड तो नहीं बन पाएगी एंड दैट्स व्हेन आई फाइनली बिलीव कि अच्छा ठीक है स्टार बनना अलग प्रोफेशन है मैं अच्छी एक्टर बनूंगी अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर मी आई रियलाइज आई विल नेवर हैव दैट बॉडी टाइप आई विल नेवर बी पतली सो आई नीड टू डेवलप अ पर्सनालिटी सो बस डन आई डोंट लुक ग्रेट आई डोंट लुक गुड आई हैव नो पर्सनालिटी बिकॉज आई कैन स्पाउट पोएट्री एट द ड्रॉप ऑफ अ हैट बस Nobody is going to love me. I am never going to get married. I am going to be doomed to single dumb for the rest of my life. Balika, kya tum akeli ho? Kya tum dusro ki shadiyon mein kapde sila sila ke sila sila ke tang aa gayi ho? Are you always banno ki saheli? बट के नेवर सॉल्व योर ओन लव पहेली ये लो आशीर्वाद पहन लो ये गहना बहना अब ये सिंगलडम नहीं है तुम्हें सहना विथ वर्ल्ड क्लास मैग्नेटिक टेक्नोलॉजी योर बैंग एल कैन सेंस योर हार्ट बीट एंड पुल यू टूवर्ड्स द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ योर अट्रैक्शन एंड गेट कन्वीनियंटली स्टक इन दर क्लोथ द रेस्ट इज अप टू यू बिकॉज इतने पैसे में इतना इंच मिलेगा एक चूड़ी की कीमत तुम क्या जानो रमेश बाबू हम बताते हैं ओनली रुपीज थ्री नाइन नाइन Go get your bangal. Chudi jo khano ki haathon mein kapde piya ke fasne lage aashati wali haathon mein. Uh also like my biggest problem with Hindi movies is that just the dating they show is so like I met someone in college and like all of them are people meeting in college only. Yeah, bus stop पे wait कर रहे हैं या local train में या फिर just plain stalking Marish is yeah. the whole romance. I have only met people on dating apps. So do I do? Where is my representation? <laughs> dating is always one and done in Bollywood oh, oh. movies. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a line! What is one and done? One man? and done. Explain it. I have found the one and now we are done. But there's then our <laughs> दुनिया का फेवरेट दे शाहरुख खान काहे की दुनिया का फेवरेट लुक एट ऑल ऑफ अस हेल नो आई लव दैट यू ऑल आर हियर विद मी ओह सॉरी नॉट अ शाहरुख फैन नॉट शाहरुख फैन आई एम आई एम ओके एंड मोस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल डू बट इन माय हेड एज आई लुक बैक एट अ लॉट ऑफ दीस मूवीज 
Shahrukh is the real chaos agent, bro. He makes a woman completely leave college and change her life, her appearance, everything, and kuch kuch hota hai. But like, even in a movie like Kabi Kushi Kabi Kam, which is a multi-star, he's not the center of attention. There also, he doesn't let any woman live in peace. Who <laughs> can't wear short clothes? Kajol can't sing bhajans. Mother can't live in peace because my son has left the house. Also, Can Rani you? Mukherjee, there was pitting there also. Yeah, there also he was pitting women against each other. Shah Rukh, can you let women live? The thing with Shah Rukh Khan is always that he feels like such a letdown. Yeah. Because when he's talking outside of exactly. movies and in interviews, so he's an intelligent, yeah. well-read, charming, beautiful, yeah. seemingly yeah. feminist guy yeah. who yeah. Always says respect women. I respect women on set. And I speak so much about DDLJ. Do that scene where uh, they get drunk in Zara sa jhum lume. The next morning she wakes up and he tells her that they've done it. Yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't care. But now, yeah. I am so disturbed watching that one scene where he's like, and Yeah, he's like, I like, date raped you actually. Yeah. And she is <laughs> devastated. And, and then you see like, how <laughs> that's become like a common thing across. Like it's being replicated yeah. in yeah. multiple yeah. other pop culture forms. And Some then how he ends that. Ek Hindustani ladki ka <laughs> Speaking of uh, men who have caused a lot of trouble, especially to Deepika Padukone in movies, <laughs> Ranbir Kapoor, sad boy of Bollywood, who has played. Okay, so for the record, I dislike him. And I feel he's played the same role over and over and again. As a person, you dislike him. As an actor, I don't like his choice of roles because he's played the same thing over and over and now in my head that's my perception of him. Fair, because I don't think he's a bad performer. I think he's, he's a, a reasonably he's good, good actor. He's really good at it. But which is why he's convinced me that he's a <laughs> that he's an overgrown child who needs a woman to rescue him at all times. Stop it. Yeah, but that is a trope in Ranbir's movies. The women have to put in a lot of emotional labor. Mm. They have to fix him. They have to make him happy, the whole thing. And Ranbir's prize in the movie is his character growth, eventually. <laughs> but the girl's prize is that she gets Ranbir. Uska kuch nahi hai. Matlab, ladki karti rahe, karti rahe. Uska aim main hoga. Mujhe urna hai, girna hai, kya kya karna hai. Ye jawani mein. Abhe ja, yaar. Kaun roh raha hai? Urna. 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 Everest mein jaake, urna mein jaake. Yeah, I swear. Everything in that movie was bunny, 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 bunny. Ye bunny. So this entire Sonu ki Tito ki sweet. Yeah, to cut, to cut, to cut, to cut. This is what I end up saying. <laughs> that is the name of the movie and that is the tatti it deserves to be. And like your Pyaar Ke Panch Nama, yeah. whatever. Love Ranjan. No. Love Ranjan's entire filmography. Yeah. Correct, that. Yeah. And this whole concept of like, Hum dost hai, nothing will come between us and we must choose each other over everything else. And anybody who's trying to break this up is the, the dip. The only problem with the woman is that she is too good for yeah. the man. She's too good to be true, therefore there is something wrong with her. This is straight up misogyny. It is the definition of misogyny. It's hatred of women. Yeah, I mean the whole rant from that movie, Pyar Ka Panchnama. Yeah. People are redoing it yeah, and yeah, dub yeah. smashing to it and like girls are doing rebuttals which are also somehow internally misogynistic. Yeah. Yeah. Which is just messed up and like nobody can deny the fact that this is mainstream and people are condoning it full par. There was some interview uh, I watched of his where uh, he said that I made this movie called Akashwani yeah. which, was which was not yeah. misogynistic yeah. Yeah. but also very problematic. Yeah. Like that movie I sat and watched Teen and pregnancy. like uh, she Bad gets raped rape, no? and she yeah, gets yeah, yeah. abused and uh, in the end like she finds her way back to Karthik Aryan and she's very like subdued and like she's complete abla nari. Mm. So for a man, a filmmaker like Love Ranjan, there are only those two extremes where one is abla nari and one is of the first order and, and he's like but that movie didn't make any money which is why I abandoned that type yeah. of that genre of movies. It's not about the actors and the actresses or even the directors you know so many times directors actors we are all puppets in the hand of the production house and the distributor and the channel and whoever is the person pumping money into it because at the end of the day nobody cares it's a nation of 1.34 billion people lots of people and economics is what it all boils down to unfortunately now it's all about the commercial getting back of it as yeah, opposed yeah. to what are we doing with this content how is it affecting the person in that single screen paisa sab kuch hai these movies didn't teach us anything about consent and relationship. Like across the board, we've just 
we've had songs dialogues every scenes we're just like cat calling eve teasing sab chalta hai kyunki how else do you get the girl because ye uska style hoenga hoto pe na dil mein ha hoenga hasina maan jayegi wan sharmana chhod da but like kab tak uthegi cheekhegi chillayegi what the fafra this is the shit and like men are being like consistently trained by bollywood yes. to keep chasing to keep pursuing Constantly. and their whole idea of wooing a girl is to make her uncomfortable yeah and that's the thing right like these things become a part of your life people do this people talk these things become like rejection then becomes acid attacks rejection then becomes murder rejection then becomes rape this is not fiction anymore it's here it's in newspaper headlines every day we can admit that there have been some movies that have redeemed how bad indian cinema has been to women at large i really liked uh, there's this one telugu movie that got released which i would recommend everybody to watch care of kancharapalam <clears throat> which is a parallel movie and the women in that film are the way they are like very real very flawed very real yeah. like very real and the way yeah the and also the way they are treated in the film by the men in the film is also very beautifully you know portrayed and she is not fighting anyone again you know she's just being herself even that portrayal is enough one of my favorite movies is uh, this malayalam movie i watched which is om shanti oshana oh my god <laughs> I love Om Shanti Oshana everyone should watch it because it's um the story of a woman falling in love with a guy from childhood to adulthood and how she is rejected and she still loves him but she doesn't seek him she goes on with her life she becomes a doctor and that's what I love because that role was switched it was a woman's gaze at love a woman's way of looking at love which is why i also love ayya in bollywood and it's a movie that's been panned universally everyone hates it but for a perfectly normal woman a perfectly normal middle class maharashtrian household woman with a job as librarian to say i am sexually attracted to a man and i have intense sexual feelings about this person is ridiculous it's right it's huge for a perfectly middle class person to say that that that's not shown much and i love that about these movies i personally really really loved english for english huh. yeah because uh, of just how lovable adorable that character is at the center of that story and my mom really loved it and i have some kind of special love for that because she was just like ye kitni achhi picture hai it kaise acche se gayi wo america kaise usne seekha and she's like uska pati lekin bada badtameez type ka aadmi i'm like yeah i guess i've watched dam laga ke haisha and recently and shuddh desi romance recently uh, i didn't mind shuddh desi romance actually because there was some kind of healthy way of looking at a live in relationship without uh, shaadi and bachcha being the be all and end all just personal shout out to uh, badhai ho and shubhmangal sathani such a cute such couple do and also the side arc of the mother in law who like stands up to her own daughters and says yeah. my daughter in law is actually like way better than all of your shit which is so much better than the sass bahu bullshit we've been yeah. fed for yeah. decades yeah. yeah which is sass and bahu can never get along but this is like hey yeah, we did get along okay point is what do we do is there a solution to bollywood being bad do i stop watching bollywood movies i can't a very big budget bollywood film which you can tell is probably bad don't go to the theater to watch it watch it when it comes out on tv yeah it's what i do <laughs> the only foreseeable fix for this problem is encouraging and enabling more women creators writers dops uh, directors and like just women in every like For instance I want to mention Made in Heaven here full of women show runners and lots of women are playing pivotal parts within and like behind the scenes of the show and it's just such a great show which is it's, it's so nuanced the characters are fully developed and they are not seeming superficial Made in Heaven for me it's a shit show because I didn't enjoy even one episode the people who made Made in Heaven are like elite as Yeah, what yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's okay if you are elite also, but I have a problem. The way you don't need you you talk about these elite people, 
cut it that's enough you don't need to show other people in low light the whole show is about marriage how can you not talk about caste when marriage is based Please. on caste so i mean speaking of representation i think it's worth noting that a trans woman um, writer has made a very successful movie ek ladki ko dekha to aisa laga gazal dhaliwal has uh, co-written it with shelly dhar i have watched the movie i loved it because i was like yes this is what i wanted and over the top romance that is also queer and fun um not a lot of people agree with me i don't know how you guys feel it was uh, it just felt like they throughout the movie were just hinting at an actual relationship romance, yeah. there was no actual romance ever shown in that film and that just felt like a little bit of a let down because everything was just alluded to i just feel like because we don't have enough such movies we also um celebrate movies that aren't made well that aren't portraying the reality of it appropriately because nahi hai hamare paas yahi example hai isi se kaam chalana padega audience is just so varied in this country you know that all the makers are constantly not thinking from a point of view of kya ye acha hai kya ye bura hai kya ye kisi ko sikhayega kuch it's always will this work or mm. will this not work mm. and that needs to change i feel like filmmakers like lavranjan and all mm. are damn smart mm. because they have understood who what they are talking that, to yeah, yeah. and what is the audience they are making their movies for women should also start think, thinking like that yes. that i only want to cater to women i don't care about the other whoever else is watching it i don't care i'm not making it for you you're not my target demographic you know who your audience is and you only care about talking to them yeah. which is what men do all the time and exactly. women just need to start doing it like smartly and fast so that was our third episode um, about how bollywood has failed women across the board as you can see so if you also feel like bollywood or any indian cinema form has failed you please let us know in the comments and it will definitely be a way more diverse conversation than cinemas are having anyway so god speed god speed makkad man sounds like makkad man <laughs>